Hello everyone. In the previous video, we have learned to handle missing data. I hope you all implemented the code. In this video, we will learn to encode categorical data. So why do you think we need to encode categorical data? If you look at this data set, it contains one column with categories France, Spain, Germany. It will be difficult for machine learning model to compute some correlations between these columns, the features and the outcome which is the dependent variable. And therefore, we'll have to turn these strings, these categories into numbers. So we'll start here by adding a text cell, writing, encoding, categorical data. And then we'll add a code cell here. So how to encode? One idea would be to encode France into zero, Spain into one, Germany into two. However, if we do this, our future machine learning model could understand that because France is zero, Spain is one and Germany is two, there is a numerical order between these three countries. And mostly it could interpret that this order matters, whereas it is not the case. There is no relationship order between these three countries, France, Germany and Spain. So we want to avoid the model to have such an interpretation because that could cause some misinterpreted correlations between the features and the outcome which we want to predict. Therefore, we actually do one hot encoding. And one hot encoding turns this country column into number of different categories in this column. We have three different categories here, France, Spain and Germany. In our case, as it is three, one hot encoding turns this column into three columns and one hot encoding creates binary vectors for each of the countries. For example, France would have the vector 100, Spain would have the vector 010 and Germany would have the vector 001 so that then there is a no numerical order between the three countries because instead of having 0, 1 and 2 we would have only zeros and ones. We are basically going to replace this country column by three new columns containing zeros and ones encoding each of the countries. That is called one hot encoding and that is a very powerful and useful method to use when pre-processing your data sets containing categorical variables. So that's the first thing we'll do here for this country column. And then there is also a purchased column that has labels, non-numerical values with yes and no's. And we'll actually have to replace them by zeros and ones. It is fine for the dependent variable as long as it is a binary outcome. It will actually not compromise the future accuracy of the model if you just replace no and yes by zero and one. First, let's start by one hot encoding the country column here. So to do this, we are going to use two classes. The first one is the column transformer class from the Compose module of Scikit-Learn library. And the second class is one hot encoder class from the pre-processing module of the same Scikit-Learn library. So first, let's import these two classes. We have to take them from Scikit-Learn from which we are going to call first the Compose module from which we are going to import that class we are interested in which is column transformer. So writing it from sklearn dot compose import column transformer and then from the scikit-learn library, once again, we are going to get access to pre-processing module from which we are going to import the one hot encoder class. So, from sklearn dot 
pre-processing imports one hot encoder and now we are going to mix these two classes in order to do this one hot encoding on the country column they create an object of column transformer class first and therefore we are going to create a new variable here which we name it as ct which stands for the object of class column transformer class so ct equals to if you can recall to create an instance or an object of a class you have to call the class itself so we'll call the column transformer class here Now, since it is a class, we have to add some parentheses. And we also have to enter two arguments here. So these two arguments are first transformers, where we'll specify what kind of transformation we want to do and on which indexes of the columns we want to transform. And the second argument is reminder, which will specify that we actually want to keep the columns that won't be applied some transformation meaning age and salary. Let's first enter the first one which is transformers. Transformers equal to and in parenthesis we actually have to specify three things. First the kind of transformation which which is encoding Second, what kind of encoding we want to do, which is one hot encoding. And third, the indexes of columns we want to encode, meaning country, the country column. So we have to actually input all that in a pair of square brackets and then some parentheses. So that just the format expected by the transformer argument. We are actually going to enter here tuple, three elements inside these parentheses. The first element is as we said the kind of transformation and to specify that we have to do some encoding transformation we have to enter here in quotes encoder so that's the first element transformers equals to square brackets and then we'll add some parenthesis here encoder then the second element we simply have to enter the exact name of the class that will proceed to this encoding so one hot encoding so we'll name the class here which is one hot encoder and since it's a class we'll add some parentheses here And finally, the third element inside this tuple of parentheses is in a new pair of square brackets, the index of columns, we want to apply one hot encoding. That is, we want to transform. And so these indexes are only one index here. It is the index of country column. The country column is the first column of our matrix of features. And remember that in Python, indexes start from zero therefore this country column has index zero and that's what we have to enter here only zero so that's all for the first argument here the transformers argument is equal to all this in the square brackets and now the second argument reminder So here we want to specify in code the following code name which is pass through. We'll specify it first. Pass through. Which is a code name that will say that we indeed want to keep the columns that won't be applied some transformation that won't be one hot encoded which are of course age and salary. If we don't include this reminder equals to pass through here, then we, when we apply the transformation on X, 
will only keep the first three columns resulting from one hot encoding and of course we want to keep age and salary into our matrix of features so we add this remainder equal to pass through now we have a ct object it is of course not yet connected to our matrix of features x and so that's exactly what we want to do now but this time we don't have to do it in two steps that is first calling a fit method from the object to connect our object to matrix of features x and then apply a second step the transform method to apply the transformation this time we can do it at once because our column transformer class actually has a method called fit transform which will do exactly the process of fitting and transforming at once at the same time and to use this we have to call first our ct object from which we are going to call this fit transform method which will get x as the input because that's what we want to transform we want to transform the matrix of features x inside which we want to one hot encode the country column first this fit transform method will return us output the new matrix of features x with the three columns one hot encoding the country column as the output and therefore since that exactly what we want to get as the new matrix of features x we are just going to update this new matrix of features x so x equal to output of this fit transform method but the fit transform method actually doesn't return the output as numpy array and it is absolutely compulsory to have x as numpy array because this will be expected by future machine learning models which we are going to build in order to train the future machine learning models where we are going to use a train function which is actually called fit and the train function will expect the matrix of features x as a numpy array so here we want to force the output of this fit transform method to be a numpy array and to do this we simply need to call numpy first which has a short fit name np np dot and from which we are going to call this array function np dot array this will take the input exactly the output of the fit transform method so and the fit transform method on our object will be ct dot fit transform on matrix of features x now we apply correctly this transformation to one hot encode the columns of matrix of features x we create a new code cell and then print this matrix of features x here print x now let's run and now running the cell well we see exactly what was expected here we no longer have the first country column with the text three countries here in strings we have three new columns which where each row encodes one of the three countries so actually france that was the first row france is encoded as 1 0 and 0 and then spain is encoded as vector of 0 0 and 1 Germany is encoded as a vector of zero, one, and zero, and that's exactly the idea of one-hot encoding. We not only turn our countries into numerical values, but also there is not a numerical order. All right, now you know how to one-hot encode some categorical data. Now we are gonna quickly do another encoding for the dependent variable because it also has a text format, no and yes, and we would just like to convert these strings into 0 and 1 respectively and to do this well, well that's very simple we are going to use another class called label encoder and which will exactly encode these nos and yes into zeros and ones respectively all right so let's do this let's create a new code cell here and now 
let's encode the dependent variable so we are going to use the label encoder class which we get from the scikit learn library from which we are going to call the pre processing module from which we are going to import the label encoder class so from scalar dot pre processing import label encoder then exactly as we did before we are going to create an object of this class which we are going to call le and this equals to the class label the label encoder label encoder and then we'll add some parentheses here we don't have to input anything in the parentheses because it is only one single vector so it will be obvious what will be needed to encode and so there we go let's first call our object le from which we are going to call fit transform method which we can call directly on y and which will exactly convert the nos and yes the text into numerical values and this time we don't have to have a non binary because this is the dependent variable vector it does not need to be a non binary so we can just set the new y to be what is returned by this fit transform method apply to the old y with the text nos and yeses so y equals to le dot fit transform applying it on y so let's check this let's create a new code cell just to print our dependent variable vector print y now let's run these cells and yes indeed we get the zeros and the ones right no corresponds to zero and one corresponds to yes then here we should get it 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 